Hi everybody, this is another TFR drums video and on this video um, I'm gonna do a, a speed flight test with my DJI F450 quadcopter and as you can see it's not a stock DJI F450 you can see you know very noticeable differences from the stock one and just to talk about a little bit talk about about the what this video is going to be about uh, uh, this flight I'm going to do right now is was inspired by a video that I saw from Alex Mao where he flew a quadcopter that is named the OFN Seeker and he managed to accomplish uh, 60 uh, three miles per hour around that speed that's 101 kilometers per hour on that quad and when I saw that video I saw the, the how fast that quad was flying I decided to you know make my own you know speed demon you know my own you know sports quad and that's why I built this quad over here um, just to talk about uh, some of the specs that I got on this quad. Um, this quad is going to be flying on 3S. Uh, the one from Alicia Mao, he fly on 4S. Now he uses small 4S, you know, to save weight just for the speed, you know, flights. Uh, but nevertheless, he's using 4S. Uh, I'm going to be using here uh, Traxxas, uh, 5000 mini amps, uh, LiPo, 25 Cs. And the motors I'm going to be using that's smaller than the ones that the Shama was using on his uh, Orphan Seeker. I believe, I believe he was using 2814 motors on his aircraft that are you know, substantially large for an aircraft of this size. So, me, um, I'm going to be using uh, Sonic Skies uh, 2212 and they are 1250 kVs. So these motors, they are mostly, you know, designed to work on 3S. Uh, I believe 4S is not recommended for this type of KVs. Uh, the props I'm going to be using are the APC MRs 9 by 4.5, you know, props. And these, more, these props are the ones that, according to the specs of the, this particular motor, they are recommended for this motor. So that's why I pull these props. Um, the arms that I got here, they are Android arms and they are the same stock size as the DJI <clears throat> and I have to purchase the landing gear separately because it doesn't come with the landing gear when you buy it so they are also made by Android and these arms supposedly it's just a few grams lighter than the DJI arms but the coolest thing is the beside that is that they are stiffer so they don't got all the flexing that you normally get with the regular arm, DJI arms so that's you know plus um, the ESCs that I got here is the ready to fly quads and they are 30 amps Simon K ESCs and as you can see they fit beautifully on this particular arm it fits right between the rails of the arm so it's you know, I like that factory look it looks really cool um, the the the, oil, the FPV equipment that I got over here um, for starters you know the camera I use is a GoPro Hero Silver uh, Hero 3 Silver and this camera is being powered by the NASA I removed the battery so you got no battery it's just in this connector over here they're sending the video out and it's powering the camera the lens of the camera is protected with a layer lens for the Hero 3. Uh, I got a Cyclops Breeze OSD uh, down here. It's right on top of the NASA. And this is the GPS antenna that I mounted with a small you know, plastic plate. And so it stands up so that way the antenna stays you know, away from, you know, the antenna is going to stay you know, more exposed and we acquire satellites you know, quicker. Um, the the video transmitter is a uh, 1000 milliwatt uh, Fox stick with a quad frames uh, cloverleaf antenna you know so it's, uh, it's plenty of power and it gives me a good reception especially you know if I want to do you know like proximity and I go behind the obstacles but also at the same time if I want to fly far you know this thing will do the job as well you know 
Uh, so you can see, like I said, the, the flight control is the NASA uh, uh, light with a GPS antenna. And um, the radio that I'm going to be using and the receiver that I'm going to be using. Uh, the radio is a high tech RO9. And the receiver is a high tech Optima 6. And this receiver is being duly powered. It got, uh, it's getting power from the NASA, but at the same time, it's 5 volts from the NASA, but it's getting also the voltage from the main battery through the SPC connector that also adds, it doubles as a telemetry reading of voltage. So it, it, it will send me the information of the, vol the voltage of the battery into my radio and allows me to set up the LiPo alarm on my radio so when the battery reaches southern voltage, the alarm will go off. You know, so that's uh, a nice feature, you know, with this particular receiver. Um, the antenna of this receiver, I'm mounted with like a RC car antenna tube mount. It's right behind the GoPro over here, and I use a black antenna tube. And to secure the antenna into the antenna tube, I use, you know, a head shrink, a long, long head shrink. It's nice the way it's mounted right now because this receiver is going to get now maximum reception. <clears throat> so regardless in which direction this little battery is looking at, you know, I mean the, antenna, the aircraft is looking, you know, the antenna is always going to be in line of sight with the radio. <clears throat> so this is pretty much a description of the, of the aircraft and, you know, the also a description of what this video is going to be about to see if I can... <clears throat> Uh, meet, you know, Ali Shamal, you know, uh, uh, speed, you know, with his OFM, but with this aircraft. <clears throat> so, we'll see. So, let's proceed to fly and let's find out. Okay? So, let's go to the next segment. Mm -hmm.